Right, welcome back and now the discussion begins right now. So, it has been 39 years of a long journey uh, that marked that was marked rather in 1985, 39 to be precise. So, even as we prepare for this new journey of competence-based curriculum system of education. So, what are some of the valuable lessons that we have to learn? as we prepare for this, you know, this new transition period of a very different curriculum that many think this could be the silver bullet that our education system for quite a while has been lacking. And of course, to join me in this discussion is Ken Echesa. This is the education expert. Well, thank you so much for making time to at least um, uh, engage with us in this a very you know important discussion at a time that the last cohort of the 844 system of education that is KCP um you know curtain officially comes down tonight or rather today so what is your assessment or rather how will you sum up the 844 system ken All right. Um, can can you unmute unmute the sound? Okay. Thank you very much. My, thank you very much, my brother. I hope you can now get me very well. Loud and clear. Thank you. A four four system has been with us as a system of education since nineteen eighty five. The first TCP was set up in nineteen eighty five. The system has served as well in an exemplary way and today we can report that over 50 percent of the national human resource both in public and private sector are products of 844 and products of kcpe that means that it has been a system that had its own strength and its own weaknesses unfortunately we have dwelt too much on the weaknesses of 844 and kcpe without celebrating it as a system that has served this country for three decades in a flawless manner. Of course, every system of education has its own weaknesses, and 844 had its own weaknesses. However, we want to blame these weaknesses for players in the education sector who along the way mutilated 844 in their own for their own interests. For instance, when we were moving from the 7223 system right. that was at was proposed at independence, right. we had hoped that 844 would serve the needs of the emerging and developing country. However, along the way and in 1999, we saw an attempt by the Coach Commission to mutilate the, this particular system by reducing examinable subjects from 7 to 5. And actually, subjects were, that were removed from examination were the practical subjects that will equip learners with practical skills such as art and craft, agriculture, and home science. We are surprised that now, after 10 years or 20 years after Koit suggested that, we have CBC with us here. And right. CBC, to me, is an improvement and mm -hmm. practical aspect of 844. So All let right. us celebrate the system. It has served this nation well with its weaknesses and we can make CBC better as we start with KEPSA. All right. Well, when you talk about um, making the CBC now better, now the question will be, um, what are some of the valuable lessons that we have to learn even as we prepare for this uh, competence-based curriculum, we can carry with us forward and actually improve on those weaknesses so that we can embrace this new uh, competence-based curriculum system of education. Part of the reasons why 844 was not very successful, it was because it was book-oriented. It was more theoretical. It lacked the practical aspect. And the reason it lacked the practical aspect was that there was a reduction of subjects, especially the practical subjects, since the state was not fully funding the equipping and putting up of laboratories or structures to infrastructure to support these practical subjects. For CBC to succeed, therefore, there must be a commitment, a real commitment from government to release funds, first increase capitation that goes on to free primary and secondary education, and two, to release this increased capitation in okay. good time. Without proper funding, CBC will be 
a flop. Just like 844 mm -hmm. has suffered uh, from its challenges because it was poorly funded. Number two is the examination manipulation. At one point, 844 became an exam-oriented uh, curriculum. Okay. Children were being trained right from class one on how to pass exams. Okay. It was not about how to get the content and how to get the skills to be useful after schooling. It was about how many marks can you score in class eight so that you join a good secondary okay. school? How can you pass KCSE so that you can go to a good university and study a good course? So okay. students began suffering at the university since they had been pushed through primary and secondary system All to right. pass examination. All right. CBC now emphasizes on the practical aspect of examination mm -hmm. and should not be prone to manipulation. And even as students choose their pathways after grade 12, we must protect this system from the cartels that have ruled the education sector mm -hmm. over time so, ch that, so that children are placed in the correct pathways. Those okay. going for arts, those going for sports sciences, and those going for STEM. It must be on merit in a very practical uh, situation in, an, in a manner that is not interfered with okay. on the basis of background on the basis of race, creed, tribe, or any other consideration that 844 might have been put might have put in place. All right. Um, well, even as we wind up uh, this discussion, well, I want us to focus on this particular KCP results. So, how will you sum up this uh, the 2023 KCP results, even as we wind up this uh, discussion because of time, Echesa? One, I want to congratulate all students who cite KCP in the year 2023, irrespective of the scores that they made. Even those who had less than 100, less than 200, they did their best. And we can make good use of them in the proper avenues. Secondly, you would have realized that this year's KCP was lower than last year's KCP. The performance was not as good as last year. This reflects on how bad our sector in education sector is funding is a problem this year government has only funded up to 50 and this is being reflected in performance since there was a drop in funding there has been a drop in performance you can't teach effectively you can't offer tuition services effectively okay. if the minister of education has not funded the sector Number two, we've been told that over 9,000 students missed KCP and will be expected to sit the same in January 2024. Okay. Government has not given us a comprehensive report about where these students were. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, the who had disappeared and what was the cause of it. Thank you. All right, um, because of time, I, I think we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you so much, Ken Echesa, education expert for making time. Asante sana. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. All right. Well, now let's move on. Still matters, education and KCP, to be precise. Michael 